In this segment, we're going to talk about evaluating language models. So we've talked about language modeling as a next word prediction task. And so given that it's a prediction task, you might think, well, should we just check the accuracy of those next words that are getting predicted? But accuracy doesn't really make much sense. We've talked about how language modeling is sort of impossible in the sense that you never really know what word is coming next. You can try to just place a probability distribution over reasonable possibilities. So it'd be a little weird to talk about, oh, this language model got 5% accuracy and then going up to 5.5% accuracy is like a great advance. So we're going to need a different metric. The, the typical metric that people use is very similar to how these models are trained, which is likelihood of data or log likelihood. Now, instead of using the training data, which is the training objective, we're instead going to look at log likelihood of held out data. And we also average over the number of tokens in this data to kind of normalize for the length. So basically, if we train our language model on a big corpus of a bunch of documents, then what we can do is take a few of those documents, hold them out, and evaluate the probability that the model assigns to the tokens there. Now, the way that this actually gets reported is in a slightly different metric still called perplexity. Perplexity is the exponential of the average negative log likelihood. So this is a metric where lower is better. So if we think about log likelihoods, they're often like minus 2, minus 3, things like that. So negative log likelihood is going to be a positive number. Then when we exponentiate that, we're going to get a kind of higher positive number. Now, you might think, okay, this is just this weird transformation. Perplexity actually kind of has a nice interpretation, which is that suppose that we're predicting all four words and we give them probabilities a quarter, a third, a quarter, a third. Now, the perplexity has an interpretation of the average branching factor of this model. And you can think about that as the average of these denominators. Now, rather than the arithmetic mean, the perplexity computes the geometric mean since this averaging is happening in log space. Uh, but basically, the perplexity of a language model assigning these probabilities is 3.464. So it's a somewhat intuitive metric. That said, uh, these numbers are usually only reported in language modeling research and not used much elsewhere. And you really have to kind of interpret them with respect to other systems. Um, but I did want to introduce that uh, these numbers will range anywhere from 10 to 200, depending on the application you're looking at. So you can kind of be aware of the scale and uh, how this metric is used. That's the end of this segment.